Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Express Lane, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with Unicorn Warriors Eternal. After I finished Adventure Brothers, uh, down below, hey, other shows you might want to watch, this popped up. I'm like, I've heard people talk about it on Twitter. Let's check it out. What is it? Well, Emma Fairfax, it's her wedding day. Her childhood friend and her finally going to tie the knot. Aww. But, unfortunately, however many hundreds, not thousands of years ago, Merlin fought a great evil. He needed help. And he knew the evil would return. So, he goes on and gets Sang. A Buddhist monk style, no seen to the beyond. He gets the elf, Idrid. Who is a great warrior. Has an amazing sword. Not Excalibur, but pretty cool kick-ass sword. And then he builds Copernicus. A machine that can suck in the souls when they're not needed. Then, oh no, the great evil appeared. Find the appropriate hosts. Put the souls into them. Yay! Melinda, Sang, Idrid, with Copernicus, go on to fight the great evil. And when they defeat the great evil, Copernicus sucks back in the souls. Their hoes are free to go do whatever they want. Ta-da! Unfortunately, there's a snag. For some reason, Copernicus chooses Emma, Elfie, Dimitri. Dimitri Dynamo is a street magician in 1890 London. Elfie is a street urchin who, no, runs with a pack of kids, pickpocketing, whatever. And again, Emma, it's her wedding day. Me finally gonna marry Winston, her childhood friend, and her beau. Aww. Now, what is unusual for Emma is she does not become Melinda right away. Alfie becomes Sang immediately. Dimitri Dano becomes Adrid immediately. But Melinda is still Emma. Emma was like, wait a minute, what's going on? I, I don't have my memories. And Idrid's all, oh, Melinda, finally. Whoa, hey. Cool your jets there, Idrid. Who the fuck are you? Uh, 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 don't you remember me, Melinda? Uh, the name's Emma, not Melinda. Why do you keep calling me Melinda? Shenanigans happen. Obviously, a great evil has returned. That's why they have returned in 1890 London. Now, it's not the 1890 London we know. It's more of a steampunk version. Pretty cool. The actual, like, world around it and all that looks pretty cool. Really, my only big gripe with the show was the animation at times seems wonky. Where it's like, oh, this person is the focus, but then everything else looks like shit. And sometimes even on the same person, be like, oh, well, like, all right, I get that you had to do whatever with the eyes. Like, for this scene, they're doing this with the eyes. I get that. Then, like, the rest of the face looks, like, just not good. And, I don't know if it was the, no, meet time limits or what, but it'd be like, oh, no. And then it just pauses on the person's face for, like, two seconds. And then, we must get over there right away. Another two seconds. To help Melinda fight off that great evil. Another two seconds. Then it cuts away. It just feels like they stay on the person's face at times just a little too long. Again, it could be like, oh, hey, we're 12 seconds short. Uh, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. All right, we got the 12 seconds in. Other than that, when Merlin appears, it's pretty cool. When this gets revealed, it's like, kind of saw that coming. This gets revealed, kind of saw that coming. This gets revealed, okay, was not expecting that. It's Adult Swim, but it's a very tame Adult Swim. It's not going to be Aqua Teen Hunger Force or... Uh, more oral, Lucy Dot. It's, it's not that style of Adult Swim show. It's more Cartoon Network Adult Swim than Adult Swim Adult Swim. Mm. Which I was like, all right, how do you go from Venture Brothers to, oh, hey, if you watch Venture Brothers, watch this. Which I get, they're both Adult Swim shows, but this is, again, more like Cartoon Network show than Adult Swim. But it's only like 10 episodes long. You can get through it real quick. 
And if you don't like it in the first couple, you're it's not like, oh no, this is a earth shattering. Everyone at work's gonna be talking about a show. It's gonna be one of those like, yeah, you watch it, you like it, good. If you watch it, you don't like it, eh, oh well. I would give it a meh out of 10, but I think I'll give it a six and a half out of 10 instead. It's worth watching, in my opinion, but if you miss it, you're not really missing anything. And with that, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.